Hey, hello, Wally, and please forgive me, Mrs. Wally. I've forgotten your name. <laughs> not good, not good. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. So, sorry it's taken me a day or two to get this to you guys, but I wanted to make, wanted to make 100% sure that this was not going to be an issue. And good news, it's not. So, there's a couple ways we can do it, and we're not even going to charge you for doing it. So, no additional cost to the price I quoted you we will take care of this for you one of two ways I had a couple technicians look at it we can either uh, have an exit here or we can uh, unbrace that raise it up a little bit bend it up they can figure it out it's not an issue and it's not something we're even going to charge you for so that is the good news and that's why we're going to take a look at this um, as I looked at it closer man I'm really really impressed and I don't say this very often about motorhomes um, the way they designed this, the fit and not not the fit and finish, the the design, the functionality of this is beyond anything else. So, really good. Um, I wish I could get on the roof and show it to you, but I can't. Of course, it's a one-piece fiberglass roof. That's key. Um, you've got both satellite and digital TV antennas. We'll see the digital TV working inside there. Uh, it's a beautiful coach all the way around, as far as the full body paint etc. I've got the slide in now so we'll look at the storage uh, and accoutrements on the outside. A little bit of storage here for you. A lot of storage here. Outside television and that'll be under your Gerard awning which I like as well. I'll show you in a minute but it's a one-touch awning which I love. So you just push a button and walk away unlike every other awning where you have to stand there like a ding dong and hold it all the way so LG uh, TV out here I don't know if I've got power to it out here or not let's find out yes I do let's see if we get a signal but just really well done big steps here so it's easy to exit and enter another huge thing for me is the ease of turning these around every other camper it's back breaking you're sweating you're trying to figure out which button it's got to go forward, back, this has to go forward, then back, then turn. This is one level, lever, turns around, easy peasy. No problem. Um, frameless windows around this, lots of exit lighting or out, outdoor lighting for you as well. I've got it running now, you can hardly hear it. It's a tiffin. Let's look at the other side storage and then we'll put the slide out and I'll get the bed down for you too that I wasn't able to do prior. So you've got a five pound, a 5K uh, hitch here so you can pull something behind it when you want to. Already wired up with the seven way. Here's your wet bay, outside shower. In the RV park, in the orientation class, you'll get the once through on all of this and then hopefully spend the night with us and answer any questions you might have on the next morning. Onan uh, 3200 generator. Let's get the slide open and the bed down. You guys likely noticed it has, believe it or not, a uh, combo washer dryer in this. So you're completely autonomous. I love that. What a beautiful coach in general. Let's go inside. And the next step would be to come in and do a test drive with me. Love to do that anytime. So here's our interior as you would be going down the road. That table you can take out or leave in, doesn't matter. Beautiful lighting throughout. So even with the slide in, you still have a full camper. You still have access to your fridge, your bathroom, your seating, your TV, which pops up here. I'll show you that when we get the slide out. Plenty of extra sleeping room here for any guests or hitchhikers you might pick up. I don't know. Beautiful dash. All the safety features that come with Mercedes, lane assist, all that good stuff. And a really nice screen. They changed that about a year and a half ago. So your cab you will be happy with. 
So let's put the slide out, which would be via here. You guys have had a lot of motorhomes, you probably know more about this stuff than I do, but let me show you what I can show you. Okay, so this would be seating mode for your television, which is a heavy pop-up here. I had a signal earlier, so I might have done something, but there's your TV. This pulls out for a desk, should you need it. Turn this a little bit. Comes out that far. And it has a couple of folding chairs, so if you needed to work from here, boy, you're all set up. I put the folding chairs here. So you've got a couple of nice high-end folding chairs in here. Otherwise, if you're not working, if you're camping, you want to see the outside of your campsite, you can. The awning, as I mentioned, is a one-touch here. Let's go out. Oh, you know what? It won't because I've got the, the engine running. So the engine has to be running to put the slide in and out. I discovered that. Let's kill the engine and put the awning out. So that naturally is a safety feature so that you can't have the awning out going <laughs> down the freeway. That wouldn't be good. So we'll just kill the engine. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. And that should allow us to put your beautiful awning out with one touch. There we go. Super solid and armless. So six foot four guys like me can appreciate that. I can't tell you how many of the uh, awning arms I've run into looking down as I'm walking instead of looking up where I'm going. You can stop this along the way at any point, either coming in or out. And you have LED light strip all the way along the outside edge here that can be turned on or off, of course. And then this scare light here for exterior lighting, you can turn on or off. And you can see just how far out this Gerard awning goes. Speakers here where they should be coming down at you instead of out at your neighbors. Nice. A little uh, storage here on your door. That door is CC cut, CC routed cut, CC cut, whatever that's called. So it fits perfectly. So this would be, of course, this chair turns around as well. So when you're camping, this adds to your living room space and you just black out those uh, front windows there. You've got a ladder naturally and this goes out of the way if you're not using it. So that kind of opens it up quite a bit. That way you can enter and exit the cab without hitting your head. Solid surface cabinetry, of course. Beautiful sound system. You might be hearing that, I don't know. I might want to turn that off or YouTube will flag me. But I don't know how much classical music YouTube uh, uses. So solid surface countertops here. Really beautiful LE lighting here. Soft closed drawers, which I love. This particular one is either a cutting board for you or roll that forward and it's storage as well. But again, soft close. Oh, I love that. I could play with these all day. Look at that, huh? I don't know why that fascinates me. Microwave is a convection oven, so you can do some baking in there as well if you'd like. Um, your washer dryer, bam. Right here, combo washer dryer, Splendid. That is the name in the industry, as you probably already know. And you've got closet space here where I've got your chairs currently. All your solar here. Generator start is there. Solar entry. And again, we'll go through all this for you. 
as well. Your restroom is killer because it's a rear bath and you have all this room. I was not able to figure out how to get this light, this backlit mirror on. So there's a switch somewhere I can't find. It's not this. I don't know where it is. There's a shower, there's a shower light, but I don't know where the button for this is. And I can feel the LED strip. So that mirror lights up backlit. I'm sure it's gorgeous. Wish I could show you. Beautiful uh, uh, bowl sink here. Lots of storage. Porcelain toilet, of course, with the bidet. I love that. Welcome to Europe. And then a great big, I'm 6'4". This is a one-piece molded shower, so it's never going to leak. And just really well done. And I still have another. This is one of the rare ones I don't have to put my head in this hole. I can stand up just fine. And it has its own lighting, as I mentioned. So that's beautiful. Let's put the bed down. So a lot of room in this camper uh, when you're not in sleeping mode. But when you are in sleeping mode, it too is just a push of a button. And it's one of the rare Murphy beds where the couch is actually comfortable. Some of them are so unsittable it really doesn't make any sense to be saving that space. So it's a little simple button right here, electric of course. The legs will come down pretty much automatically. And now you're sleeping. Still have room to walk around the bed, get to the front cab what have you. Um, I should know the length of this, but I don't. Again, I'm 6'4". Let's lay down, shall we? Yes, we shall. Now my heels are just over, maybe, so it's a good 6'2". Easy peasy. I think we talked about that. I think we measured it. We did. We did, because I think you're 6'2", Wally. So that... No problem. And super easy to set up and put down. So that'll make camping fun. You got some LED reading lights on either side of your bed there. So there we have it. 2023 TIFF. This is the size where you guys will probably use it a lot, which is key. If I can get the pillows back with one hand. So my cell phone is 4750. I will be texting this to you, but if somebody else sees 4696-4750. And yes, Buta, Texas location. Exit 220. Fridge is a fridge, but you always open them up. Just really well done. Adjustable shelves there so you can personalize that. So again, my apologies for getting this to you a little bit late, but I did want to make certain that that was not going to be an issue. Tailpipe wise, we will fix your tailpipe. That might have came out wrong, but you know what I mean. 406-696-4750. Let's go camping.